When I swing a golf club, I'm trying to keep my body turning in the same angle as the golf club was at the address. To better understand that, if you look at the angle that the golf club has, my upper body is more or less at right angles to this, and I'm rotating then my chest and my upper body so that my arms and hands are being moved by the shoulders around me and up into the back position, the backswing position. To do this, my body's really got to go through some pretty strange bending and twisting. Because I've got my spine is mounted on the pelvis and the pelvis on the two legs, uh, there's always going to be a tendency to want to wander right and left in the golf swing. I want to stay pretty central though, so that means that as I rotate to the right, I'm resisting with the right leg and turning the left shoulder down. As I turn, my pelvis will actually tilt, but not very much. And my lower back or lumbar spine will tilt with it, but again, not very much. This means that if I just allow my chest or my thoracic spine to rotate in the same angle as the pelvis, I'm never gonna get the correct angle to the golf ball. So what actually has to happen is the thoracic spine has got to bend and twist to get my shoulders into the right plane, into the right angle to the ball. So when you actually look at it during both the backswing and the downswing, as I rotate, my upper body is actually tilting. And I'm getting a large curve in the upper spine. And this will happen on both sides of impact. When I turn towards a target, my right shoulder will go down because my upper body curves. That means that my pelvis is working at a different angle to my shoulders. And that means you've got to try and work on the mobility in your thoracic spine so that you can both turn and tilt simultaneously.